It's been a few days into 2024, and as we cross the middle benchmark for the month of January, we've got some crunchy and much needed updates for you. In today's video, we'll be going over some new agreements and partnerships Aptera recently signed, as well as a financial update for 2024. We'll take a closer look at the Aptera Accelerator program and where Aptera stands with regards funding to enter production. We've also got wind of a new recognition award in the pipes for Aptera and some more analyses of the year 2023, so don't go anywhere. Hello and thanks for tuning in. Before we go any further, please take a moment to support us by liking this video. Subscribe and activate the bell notification feature so you always know when we put out new videos. And remember, sharing is caring. Okay, let's get back to it. Aptera Motors has secured a Tier 1 battery supply and a significant investment from Korean manufacturer CTNS as it strives to achieve its long-term goal of scaling up solar EV production. Solar EV startup Aptera Motors provided us with an optimistic progress update as we close the book on 2023 and looked ahead to 2024, the year we may finally see scale production of the company's solar EV of the same name. Since the startup's second iteration launched years ago, we followed its progress almost every step of the way, from beta models to gamma securing state grants and the unveiled its launch edition Solar EV, as well as an accelerator crowdfunding program to purchase the necessary equipment to begin production. If and when the production process begins, Aptera will receive manufacturing knowledge from Creative Technology and Surprise, CTNS, a South Korean battery technology business launched in 2017. According to a LinkedIn post by CTNS Chief Strategy Officer Jung Mo Kim, the battery technology business and Aptera Motors signed a master supply deal on December 22nd. Aptera co-founder Chris Anthony's visit to CTNS Sewell headquarters featured the signing of a multi-million dollar investment deal in Aptera. As part of the two agreements, CTNS will build Aptera's battery production lines and supply battery packs for its solar EVs as a Tier 1 supplier. According to Kim, the entire contract value exceeds $15 million. As a leading startup representing Gyeong Sangnamdu, CTNS has done remarkable jobs and contributed to our regional prosperity, stated Dr. John Kipom of the Provincial Council. We are happy to support CTNS's global business with Aptera Motors and good package programs including Gyeongnam Technopark will be provided. According to a CTNS spokeswoman, this supply contract is a significant first step for CTNS in entering the U.S. market, and it demonstrates the possibility of success in the global market. CTNS will become a secondary battery unicorn startup known in the worldwide market due to its unique technology and business approach. Kijong Kwan, CEO of CTNS, said, I believe that this is an important moment for CTNS to leapfrog to the future unicorn and global market, and sincerely appreciated to Chris Anthony and Aptera Motors on becoming a partner for the journey. Batteries are an essential component of any EV production line, thus finding a Tier 1 supplier in CTNS is a significant milestone as Aptera progresses into the validation phase of manufacturing intense solar vehicles. Together. Aptera and CTNS seek to make the former's production dreams a reality sooner rather than later. Okay, moving forward, let's talk about finance for a while. Aptera is still searching for a large-scale investment from an institutional investor or big grant to begin full-scale manufacturing, but it appears that Aptera is on the verge of producing production-intent vehicles for testing. Aptera has already raised just over $31.33 million in crowdfunding through the Republic platform and the Accelerator program. This represents an increase of little less than $640,000 from the previous week. Republic reports a total boost of $1,598,551, an increase of merely $6,353 from last week. Republic did add four new investors, bringing the total raise to $1,418, for an average of $1,127.30 per participant in the Republic program. The Accelerator program had another successful week. Aptera received $638,537 in investments last week, a nearly $300,000 reduction from the previous week. Aptera's Accelerator program is obviously on track to raise more than $30 million, since the total investment is already nearly $29.74 million. How long do you anticipate the Accelerator program will take to raise the needed funds? 
Let us know in the comments. New investors have contributed around 15.39 million, with former investors contributing approximately 14.33 million of the cash raised. Now that we've covered the numbers, let's look at this interesting update. Aptera appears to have earned an award from the Electric Vehicle Association for 2023. For those who don't know, the Electric Vehicle Association, formerly the Electric Auto Association, is North America's leading volunteer organization accelerating the adoption of electric vehicles by assisting its 100 chapters and thousands of members in educating their communities about the benefits of driving electric. Every year, this association arranges an award ceremony for certain areas, giving members around 10 days to vote, and the honors are presented during their annual general meeting. Aptera was named the EV Business of the Year 2023. Here's a list of all the categories evaluated. As you can see, there are more than nine of them. For Chapter Leader of the Year, Kate Kruk, New York Capital District EVA won the award. For Chapter of the Year, we have Dayton EVA, Drive Electric Dayton. For EV Road Tripper Ambassadors, we have Liv Lee and Patrick Anderson, Match Eve Logs, San Diego EVA. Aptera is our EV Business of the Year. Joe Baum of the Blue Ridge Club EVA receives the Lifetime Achievement Award. Mayor John Ernst of Brookhaven, Georgia was named EV City of the Year. Carl Bloss of Southwest Michigan EVA is our EV Advocate of the Year. Students of the Year Capital Region Barb Gorbity teaches a digital media and design class to BOCES students at the Career and Technical Education School. Last but not least, for EV Educator of the Year, James Cordova, Chair of the Automotive Department at Pueblo Community College. And the message on their official website for these honorees reads, Congratulations to all the EVA Award winners. Your tremendous achievements and continuous commitment to promoting the electric vehicle industry have set a high bar for the entire community. Your inventive contributions to EV technology, sustainable energy practices, and advocacy for wider EV adoption have not only moved the industry forward, but also motivated countless people to embrace the electrification of transport. Your dedication and hard work have been recognized and we are happy to have such excellent leaders spearheading the shift to a cleaner, more sustainable future. Thank you for your outstanding contributions and congrats again on this well-deserved distinction. The awards will be presented during the Electric Vehicle Association Annual Meeting, which will be placed from 1 to 4 p.m. on Saturday, January 27th at Aptera's headquarters in Carlsbad, California. The program will include a morning tour of Aptera, lunch, and a tour given by Quick Charge Power. The meeting, however, will be free for members only and membership is required to attend. It is also worth noting that Aptera held the Electric Vehicle Association's 2023 Annual Meeting on January 28, 2023 at its headquarters in Carlsbad, California. And I have to say it's interesting that Aptera is well-respected in this group enough to receive an award. This just adds to the SEV brand's credibility and expands its reach across national and international boundaries. Okay, let's come to more recent updates. Aptera recently released a recap video of 2023 progress so far and there are some striking things I'd like to comment on. We began 2023 with the announcement that Aptera had completed its production intent design for Aptera Delta and for the first time, they were exhibiting the culmination of the continual advancements we achieved throughout our alpha, beta, and gamma development phases. Aptera unveiled its launch edition on January 20th, 2023, the first series of over 40,000 orders for a fleet of ultra-efficient vehicles that would enable solar mobility and grid independence. We also learned about the launch edition's main specifications and billing data. Steve and Chris expected manufacturing to begin by the end of 2023, assuming finance was available, but as we can see from the year, it wasn't. Aptera also intended to quickly expand into full-scale single-shift production of 10,000 automobiles per year. Aptera will then increase its manufacturing to dual-shift 20,000 automobiles per year from its Carlsbad, California facility. We can only hope and anticipate that this will happen this year. In any case, Aptera announced its community-led initiative, the Accelerator Program to kick off production plan. The first 2000 launch edition vehicles produced will be prioritized for early delivery to investors under the Aptera Accelerator Program. Aptera was able to announce in March that it had begun cutting the production tools that will forge Aptera's six body sections at CPC Group's tooling facility in Modena, Italy, thanks to the help of the Trailblazers who participated in the Accelerator Program. This procedure included designing Aptera's parts and tooling, machining the tooling, and finally operating the tooling in presses to forge Aptera's parts. 
Aptera Motors was awarded a $21 million grant from the California Energy Commission CEC, on March 13, 2023 to increase essential capacity and speed scale manufacturing of the world's first true zero-emission vehicle ZEV. The $21 million grant from the California Energy Commission is part of the state's continuous efforts to promote sustainable energy and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The funds would be made available under the CEC's Clean Transportation Program, which aims to speed the development and deployment of advanced vehicle technology. In March, Aptera Motors secured its first fleet order from Eco Accelerator Sustainability Sooner, Inc. for 101 all-wheel drive solar electric vehicles with a 400-mile range to mobilize its crew. This reservation, estimated at $3.35 million in future income, was the first of many anticipated collaborations between Aptera Motors and businesses seeking a fleet solution with a lower environmental effect. Aptera also got to announce that it will incorporate Open Pilot Consumer Reports number one ranked driver assistance system into their solar electric vehicles. This move would enable Aptera drivers to enjoy road excursions with Open Pilot's advanced capabilities such as adaptive cruise control, lane centering, and forward collision warning. The driver monitoring system will guarantee that drivers are attention while using the device. In May, the SuperCrowd Incorporated, a public benefit company, honored Aptera co-CEOs Steve Fambro and Chris Anthony with the first-ever SuperCrowd Impact Crowdfunder of the Year Award in recognition of the funds earned through their Regulation A crowdfunding offering. Aptera, led by the co-CEOs, had raised over $60 million through crowdfunding campaigns over the previous several years to bring to market a solar electric vehicle that would be the most energy-efficient in history. Aptera began validating its aerodynamic design in July at Pininfarina's world-famous wind tunnel. Aptera completed correlation testing to validate its computational fluid dynamics work and provide insights into the vehicle's shape, which Aptera expects to have the lowest coefficient of drag of any production passenger vehicle. In another victory, the California Alternative Energy and Advanced Transportation Financing Authority granted Aptera a tax break on $81 million in equipment acquisitions to outfit our cutting-edge plant. Aptera also created waves in an outdoor exhibition at the U.S. Open of Surfing in Huntington Beach, as well as other solar summer events throughout California. In November, we learned that Aptera bodies had all of their tooling finished and were ready to use. For the first 16 production intended builds, parts were made and validated, as well as dimensional validation. We also found out that five of them will be built for crash testing and marketing purposes. Furthermore, the airbags for crashes will be calibrated, as will the brakes and regeneration levels, as well as all of the other fine-tuning duties required when designing a new car. And as we approach the end of January, I believe our eyes are going to be peeled as we await an update on production progress and when Aptera vehicles are going to be built. And that concludes today's video. Do let us know what you think about today's discussion in the comments section below. And you can support this channel by liking this video. Subscribe and activate the bell notification feature so you'd always know when we put out new content. And remember, sharing is caring. Take care and see you in the next video.